Okay, I'm going to try to rearrange these feathers just a little. There we go. Push it up a little bit more. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm putting clay that's almost melted on for the uh, fluff that would be at the base of the feathers. All right, I'm going to put ermine on the uh, headdress. Now, ermine is a white weasel that uh, crawls around the rocks in the mountains. I, I, when I used to live up on the foothills of uh, 
the Madison Mountain Range, and uh, I used to watch these little weasels scurrying around the rocks. Kind of cool looking. They got a black uh, tip on their tail. What they would do, the, the Indians would uh, skin the animal and then they would sew it into kind of like a tube. Uh, it had a meaning to them. And uh, anyway, that's what I'm trying to put on here. Trying to do it in a artistic way here. It's still got to be castable. Okay, I've added braids to the uh, clay. I didn't show how I did that because I cover that in one or more of my uh, instructional videos. Uh, if you want, are interested in those, there's a link to a review of all nine of them in the video description below this uh, video. Okay, I'm using a little Ronsonol to... Uh, smooth out the clay Okay, I managed to uh, fix those eyes to my satisfaction. I screwed it up a couple of days ago by accident. It didn't hurt anything. It just took a little more time to get his face to a point where I like it. I still have fine tuning to do on the uh, lower part of his back, uh, his belly. I can do that another time. I've got to be finished with this piece because this one's going to go to the foundry when I'm done. 
And I might have to take a trip to Bozeman this week and get kind of an idea of what it was going to co would cost to uh, cast this and see if I'm within the range I need to be. I, uh, I'm thinking about how I'm going to have the flag. Haven't decided completely what I'm going to do there. And I'm also thinking about the patina, whether to do a full color or a rust patina. A full color with a flag is going to be a bit gaudy, and that's the only reason I'm a little hesitant to do a color patina. The gallery wants a color patina, but I have to put my name on this piece too, and So it has to meet my requirements also. This is going to be a limited edition bronze and uh, I don't want to make something that's going to sit on a shelf because it's too gaudy. Well, I got some cleaning up to do on that uh, shoulder, and I'll do that next time as well, or in the future. I'm happy the way this turned out today. I might just add a little more fluff after this solidifies a little bit more. The uh, feathers had to be anchored together and this fluff melted and pressed against the feathers anchors all the feathers in position. I did a little adjusting on the length of uh, these back feathers. There were three of them that were just a little too long and uh, had to lengthen one feather and this one here is the one I lengthened because it was a little too short. No matter how careful you are, you always have things that don't come out quite the way you measured them out to be. All right, that's good for today and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a great night, everybody. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.